Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Black Cat, a Hong Kong action flick from 1991 that stars Jade Lung and Simon Yam. Our lead character is Catherine, played by Jade Lung, a mentally disturbed young woman who is detained by the police after killing a truck driver. She eventually finds herself part of a covert training system where Simon Yam's character works, programmed as an assassin. Having learned a host of new deadly skills, she becomes a lethal government weapon, codenamed Black Cat. So does that plot synopsis sound at all familiar to you? Because it should. Uh, director Stephen Shin originally wanted to make an official remake of the Luc Besson film La Femme Nikita, but the rights to the remake were already purchased in the United States. But that apparently did not matter. <laughs> Because he simply decided to shamelessly rip off La Femme Nikita to make Black Cat. So instead of an official remake, it's simply an unofficial one. Alright. It kind of defeats the purpose of obtaining rights to remake anything, right? But is it actually entertaining? Well, it's not as good as La Femme Nikita, in my opinion. Alright? But it is certainly watchable. Now thankfully, the filmmakers do change enough events to avoid becoming a carbon copy, which is really important here. If this was a carbon copy, there'd be no reason to watch it at all. Okay, the story mirrors the original film, La Femme Nikita, at many points. It follows the same structure. But there are a bunch of individual scenes that are completely different and that you're not going to see in the original film. So it's still a ripoff, but it's different enough to be entertaining on its own right. Okay, so one thing I like about Black Cat is that it does not waste a lot of time. You know, the opening scene has a truck driver. You know, he immediately shows up at a truck stop and inappropriately touches our female lead. So she rightfully gets angry at this guy. So she tricks him into letting his guard down and then beats the crap out of him. He retaliates and we get a slugfest to the death. All right, and uh, when all is said and done, the truck driver's dead. The cops show up, they arrest her. After that, she, uh, you know, after some additional uh, events unfold, she's recruited against her will by Simon Yam's organization and sent on various missions, right? Now, one thing is obvious from the very beginning. The Caucasian actors give atrocious performances in this. Not, not the biggest surprise to people who have seen a bunch of Hong Kong action flicks over the years. Usually, <clears throat> the Caucasian actors are terrible. So anytime a white dude shows up in this movie, the acting gets real bad. <laughs> like, real bad. Fortunately, we have Simon Yam in like the, the supporting role here. He gets significant screen time. His acting chops greatly help matters. Okay, Jade Lung's performance and her character's development are pretty good. Um, she's not like one of my favorite girls with guns, uh, you know, uh, actresses, but, uh, you know, she's nothing mind-blowing, but you can tell that her character has a mean streak and is a tough cookie. Um, this actress definitely put in the time into preparing for this. You know, she's in good shape, she can handle the action well enough, uh, you know, you can tell she trained a lot, and she does perform some of her own stunts, which is commendable. But, uh, maybe it's because... I don't know. Some of her action flicks are kind of tough to find, and I wouldn't really classify many many of her flicks as being like classics of the girls with guns genre, this film included. But the action is pretty good here, all right? We have a fairly high body count. It does get violent right from the start. This is not a Category 3 movie. I think it was rated like Category 2, but there's enough bloodshed to satisfy. There's the opening fight, which is good. Get some prison beatings and scuffles involving the cops a short escape scene, a shootout at a wedding, multiple assassination uh, missions, etc. The action design feels westernized to a degree um, because there's a lack of martial arts and uh, it's more in favor of like basic slugfests and less stylized shootouts. You don't even get like a John Woo or Johnny Toe like stylized shootout scene in this. It's pretty basic setups, all right? The finale in particular kind of disappointing. It's an anti-climax. Um, they do introduce ice bullets as kind of a gimmick in this, and, you know, it's a pretty cool idea. Maybe not used to its uh, full potential, though. 
The brisk pacing definitely helps the film. Constant changing of locations and environments help to mix things up. I think this was shot in Canada, the United States, Hong Kong, and Japan, I believe. So overall, it's kind of a, kind of a flawed flick, but Black Cat has enough entertainment value to warrant a, a recommendation. You know, it does, does not qualify as a, as a classic, in my opinion, even if you restrict it to the Girls With Guns subgenre in Hong Kong. I think there are a number of Girls With Guns films that are superior to this movie, for sure. Um, to be honest, I think the sequel to this film is slightly more entertaining. Black Cat 2, The Assassination of Boris Yeltsin. It's a fantastic title for a film. Uh, you know, I, don't, I have no idea if that's a popular opinion or not, because I don't know that many people that have seen both of these movies. Uh, I assume it's an unpopular opinion, though. <laughs> Because <laughs> the sequel gets pretty stupid and outlandish, but it actually has more action, and it feels more like a Hong Kong action flick from the early 90s than this film does. Because um, it's not a direct ripoff of La Femme Nikita. So, maybe we'll get a Blu-ray release of the sequel. I would buy it if they did. But for now, we have the first Black Cat movie currently available on Region B Blu-ray. A pretty tricked out release by 88 films. So if, it, if you think there's enough positives in this review that make you want to see the film, check it out. It's sufficiently entertaining, as I would say. And as always, we will see you next time.